so this is the last uh, topic in protection and security of module 5 that is access uh, control okay so as we all know access control is about uh, uh, providing uh, restrictions of uh, restrictions on the objects okay about uh, which are all the users who are allowed to access these objects and what are all the rights these users are having on the object so that is uh, we call them as access control mechanisms so it is one form of uh, a security so that uh, no unauthorized user in your system is allowed to access your objects okay so as i as i said objects can be it can be cpu it can be memory it can be uh, hard hardware devices like printer scanner like that okay now so one important uh, access control mechanism which uh, most of the uh, systems will be using is uh, rbac that is role based access control mechanism okay so role based access control mechanism is uh, about uh, every users will be assigned certain roles okay so if uh, and these roles will be assigned certain permissions okay if any user is having uh, say role r1 so there are some certain permissions for role r1 similarly certain permissions for role r2 etc okay so here is a diagram which uh, says that information okay so this is user 1 information you can see so uh, role 1 there are two privileges privilege 1 and privilege 2 okay so if user 1 is enjoying role 1 then he has got two privileges similarly for the example sake if i take so another uh, uh, role say role 2 if i say and if i take uh, privileges 3 privilege 4 privilege 5 just for the example sake i am taking okay and i will call this as user 2 then it indicates user 2 when he is enjoying role 2 he has got three privileges or three permissions like that so that's why the name given role based access control based on what role user is enjoying those permissions will be uh, given to them okay based on that the they will be accessing the data and they will be executing the programs okay so the next thing is about uh, removing the access rights from the user so we call it as uh, revocation of access rights in the karithi. okay now there are various uh, things we must know uh, when we perform this revocation of access rights okay so that is uh, first one is immediate revocation or uh, whether it, whether we have to perform delayed revocation okay immediate uh, revocation means whenever uh, uh, user uh, is uh, allotted certain uh, uh, rights so you are immediately removing these access rights from the user so we are not bothering whether the user is currently executing any process or not so this results in damage to the system okay that is called immediate delayed means once uh, the user is free from executing any program then you are going to remove the access rights that is called delayed so second one is uh, selective versus general uh, revocation selective means instead of uh, removing all permissions from the uh, users or removing all users you are going to select certain users or you are going to uh, remove certain privileges from the user that is called select versus general third one is called partial and uh, total uh, revocation access rights so partial means uh, uh, you are not removing completely all privileges certain privileges only you are removing so such thing is called partial versus total and the last one is temporarily removing uh, revoke uh, access rights or whether you are removing the access rights permanently that is called temporary versus permanent access revocation rights next for implementing these uh, revocation mechanisms there are four uh, major methods we use for implementing revocation of access rights first one is uh, reacquisition second one is back pointers method 
uh, indirection method last one is using the keys method so in uh, reacquisition uh, method so it is uh, about finding the uh, process which you want to delete okay and you try to acquire its capability list we all know capability list contains the uh, list of operations we are performing on the object okay so if you try to remove this capability list means you can easily delete that particular object anta. that is called re reacquisition anta. so next is back pointers so here we will be maintaining certain list of pointers okay for each and every object okay and each and every pointer when you try to remove from the object means uh, process or user will be not able to or the process or a user will be no longer able to access these objects and tartha. so it is in turn you are revoking the access rights and the, that is called back pointers so next is the indirection so indirection means uh, so you are uh, the capability of uh, indirectly pointing uh, to the objects by making uh, them not available in the global table so as we all know global table will be maintaining a tuple which contains information about uh, uh, the domain the object and the access rights Alva? so if you are uh, using the indirection operation it means you are trying to remove that entry from the global table if there is no entry present in the global table then it indicates that you have removed the access rights and tartha. so that's what indirection indicates so the last one is using the keys method you are trying to revoke the access rights so here you will be having a unique key pattern so which is associated for every capability list okay so whenever you are trying to remove any of the access rights from the objects so you are going to make use of these key patterns okay and uh, based on these key patterns you are selecting the objects for uh, revocation of access rights so that's how the method of uh, revocation will be taken care so these are the four major important points which comes under a revocation of access rights